Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be continuing our series on how to use ThirdWeb's gaming kit with Unity and we're gonna be continuing building out the project that we've been working on. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and token gate the game or our Unity project to only allow players who own the key NFT that we made in the last video to go ahead and access the game. Now, if you do wanna check out our previous videos, we'll go ahead and link them somewhere here in the video or down in the description below. To kind of recap what we went over, in the first video, we kind of set up our Unity project and created a function to go ahead and connect our wallet to our Unity game. And then in the second one, we used AI art generator to go ahead and create a key NFT. And then we went ahead and created an NFT using Third Web. So what we're gonna be doing now in this one is building off of that first Unity project. And we're gonna be checking to see if the wallet that connects to our game actually owns one of the key NFTs. So to kind of break down what we're gonna be going over in this video, we're gonna check if the wallet connected has the NFT. If it does, we'll just prompt a page saying, hey, this person owns this NFT. And if they don't, we'll go ahead and prompt and say that this person does not own this NFT. So let's go ahead, let's jump on the computer and we're gonna be continuing off again that Unity project we created in the beginning. Before we get into the video, currently 70% of you amazing people who watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel. So if you do find value and you do enjoy these videos, do us a small favor, hit that subscribe button, join the 30%. On top of that, every week we will be selecting 10 subscribers and we will be airdropping a very special third web NFT. So right here, this is the Unity project that we had been working on. Uh, what we had set up before is if the wallet was not connected here, you would see that it'll have a message saying, please connect your wallet. And once the wallet is connected, we went ahead and saw a message that said, you have connected your wallet. Now, we're gonna go ahead and add some stuff into this connected state here because once a wallet is connected, we wanna check if it has the key NFT or not. So in this connected state, I'm actually gonna get rid of this connected text here. And I'm gonna add a, um, I'm gonna create an empty here and I'm gonna say and call this one has NFT. And then I'm gonna create another empty here and say, no NFT. So just like how we created the connected and disconnected state here, once a wallet has connected, we're gonna check if they have an NFT, and if not, then we're gonna display no NFT. So in has NFT, we'll go ahead and create a text, and we'll just say, you own a access key NFT. We'll make this a little wider here and we'll go ahead and center our text. All right, so I'm just gonna hide this has NFT for now. And under no NFT, if they don't have an NFT, we'll add a UI here, a text, and we'll go ahead and say, you do not own a, or an access key. Make this one a little wider here, and center that text. So again, if they connect their wallet, uh, we'll check the balance of their wallet to see if they own this access key NFT. If they don't, we'll show they do not own this access key NFT. And if they do, we'll go ahead and show that they do own this access key NFT, right? So I'm just gonna toggle both of these off for now here. And we're gonna open up on our start screen here, our start screen script. So under my scripts folder I have here, we have our start screen script. We'll go ahead and open that up. And then we have our script right over here. So we have that uh, toggle start screen function that we created in the first video of the series. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some functionality to check the balance of the NFTs. Um, now we're gonna have to add some third web um, stuff from the third web SDK in here. So we're gonna add uh, using and then we're gonna add third web here. And we are gonna run some async functionality. So in order to do that, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna add a systems dot threading. This one I write, yeah, threading dot and then tasks. All right, and then what we're gonna have to do is 
make sure we can use our third web SDK in here. So I'm just going to do private, and then we're going to do third web SDK, and then we're just going to name it SDK. Now, we also want to be able to uh, get our has NFT and no NFT game as a uh, game object. So we're going to create a public and then we're going to say game object and we're going to say has NFT. And then we're going to do the same for uh, no NFT. And then what we're also going to do here on our start is we're going to make sure that our SDK goes ahead and we can connect to the third web SDK here. So we're going to do new third web SDK and then we're going to pass the network that we're on. So again, we're on Gordy. So again, uh, we're just adding in our third web and we're using systems threading tasks because we're going to add some async functionality to our project here to check the balance. Um, now we also need to be able to grab our game objects of has NFT and no NFT. So we can go ahead and toggle them and then we're going to go ahead and instantiate our SDK right over here. Now in the start function, as you can see, this function is called before the first frame updates in our Unity game. We want to just set um, our game objects of has NFT um, to false. And we're also going to do that for no NFT as well. We'll just make sure that both of them are turned off. And then depending if the connected wallet owns the NFT, uh, we will toggle them one of them true depending on if they have it or not. So if we go back to our Unity editor here and we click on our start screen. Oh, uh, what does it say? What do we have here? Systems. I think I spelled something wrong. Yep. This should be system. No S. All right. So we hit on our start screen here. You can see in our inspector, we have the two areas where we can put our has NFT game object and no NFT object. So has NFT, we will drag into has and no NFT, we will drag into no. All right, so we have that set. Now, the thing that we wanna go ahead and do first is check the balance of the wallet that is connected. So uh, what we're gonna do is once we toggle the screen, we're gonna run a something called check balance. And we will also have to go ahead and in here, we're going to get we're going to um, ask for a string and we're going to ask for the address because we're going to need the address of the connected wallet to pass through our check balance so that we can check the balance of the connected wallet. So what we're going to have to also do is go to our connect wallet script again. So under third web under examples scripts prefabs we have our is this the connect wallet script all right and then in our connected wallet file here we will go down to the on connected where is it right over here so on connect uh remember we went ahead and did our toggle screen and we passed our connected state and disconnected state. Uh, what we're going to add on here is the address because we wanted the address as well of the wallet that is connected. So we just have to add that address into there, into the parameters there that we need to pass through the toggle start screen. That way over here, we can go ahead and check the balance of that address. Now we're going to create our check balance. And in order to do that, we're going to do a public function and we're going to say a sync. Now this is going to be a task, which will get us a string and we're going to call it check balance. And what this is going to do is we're going to check the balance to see if the wallet holds the key NFT from our smart contract. So we need to get our smart contract first. So we're going to get contract. Uh, we'll create a new contract and we're going to have to do the SDK. And within the third web SDK, there is a get contract function here. And the get contract, we're just going to pass the contract address of the key NFT that we created. So if I go back to my third web dashboard here, I have my access key. I can just copy that address in the top left and I can go ahead and paste that into here. Now we're going to go ahead and use the uh, get a string back uh, and we'll name it balance. And what we're going to do is 
await the contract here. And on the contract here, we are going to read the function of balance of. Now we're gonna have to do read, string, and in uh, quotations, we're going to get the balance of function. And we are checking the balance of token ID zero that will go in strings as well. And we are checking it for the address. So what this is actually doing is, and if we look at our contract here, if I go to explore and I go to read here, we are running the function balance of, and we are checking the account and then the token ID. So I actually need to flip this around because I need to put the address first and then we are checking token ID zero, which is a number, not a string. So we'll make sure that we are running the balance of, and then what we're doing is filling out these parameters right here of the account and which token ID we are checking. Now, what we should do then is then return balance. Okay, so that is gonna check our balance of the NFT. Now back in our toggle screen function, once a wallet is connected, we'll go ahead and we'll put string and then we'll say string balance, right? Because this is our balance in a string right here. And we'll put a wait because we want to make sure that a wallet is connected. So we have to make this uh, async function as well. So what we're going to do is when a wallet is connected, we will set the connected state to true and then the disconnected to false. Then we're going to go ahead and check the uh, use the check balance here to check the balance of what the wallet connected holds. It does return a string, but what we're going to do now is go ahead and turn it to a float. So we'll do float balance and that's going to equal uh, we're going to turn our string balance here. Uh, we'll do float dot parse and then pass our string balance to get it as a float number. And then we'll do if uh, float balance is greater than zero, uh, we will set has NFT to true. We don't need to set these to false. And then we need, and then if the float balance is not greater than zero, then it means they don't have an NFT and we'll go ahead and set the no NFT to active. So again, to go through everything, once someone connects their wallet, we're going to switch the connected state to true. We're going to then check the balance, which is going to check the balance on our key contract and return us the balance of what the connected wallet owns of token ID zero, which is our key NFT. And if that balance is greater than zero, we will toggle on that they have the NFT, which will allow them to play the game. And then if they do not, we will prompt them and say that they don't have the NFT. And then later on, we'll go ahead and build a way for them to claim the NFT. So we'll save all of this here. And then we're getting address does not exist. Oh, uh, because we need to pass, uh, we need a string and then we need our address here, which is the address that we are passing through from the connected wallet. So make sure we add pass an address through our check balance as well. And if everything is set up properly, we'll go ahead and file and build and run this project. We'll save it and we'll come back once it goes ahead and builds the project. All right, and once our game goes ahead and builds and run, let me just refresh this real quick right here. We can go ahead and connect our wallet right here. Once we connect, we should see that we do not own an access key because we don't own one in this wallet and we actually don't have any access keys claimed right now. So what we'll do is we'll head back over to our third web uh, dashboard here for NFT. We'll go to our NFTs. We'll go to access key. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just claim one to our wallet. So we'll go ahead and hit claim. We'll make sure we'll confirm this transaction here. Wait till it goes through. 
right? And once our claim is successful, we'll go ahead, we'll just refresh our page right over here, connect our wallet back up again. And you can see it now says we own an access key because we went ahead, claimed an NFT, and now we have the access key in this wallet that we went ahead and connected. And there you go. We went ahead and in a way token gated our Unity project here to only be playable if someone has the NFT. So on the page that says that we own the access key, we can put maybe a start game button that goes ahead and allows the connected wallet or connected user to go ahead and start playing your game. But what we're going to do if they don't have the NFT, instead of having to claim the NFT through another website or through our third web dashboard, instead, we're going to go ahead and in the next video, create a way for someone to go ahead and who has their wallet connected that doesn't have the NFT to go ahead and claim the NFT directly in our Unity game. So I hope you folks enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so that you know when we post more videos and tutorials just like this. And again, this is part of a longer series of videos. So if you folks do find these longer series of videos very helpful and you find value in it, let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to join our Discord if you have any questions or need any support. We're always happy to help you out there. But until next time and until the next video, see ya.